y'all it's Hyra and welcome back to another vlog so I am kicking off today's vlog in my office I I don't know I am in a let me just sit down for an hour or two and just knock some workout type of mood especially because Christmas is in a few days and I am very overwhelmed <laughs> I cannot lie I am trying not to be because obviously you know we know the real reason for the season Jesus obviously you know Christmas shopping is involved and in getting gifts and things like that for the family and so that has been stressing me out because I waited to the last minute <laughs> don't know why I did that to myself it kind of just happened that way just because of everything else I had going on like I just came back from vacation and then like last week was a blur and then Olivia she didn't get sick but she was like really really congested for a couple days and so that kind of threw us off and Anyways, we're like just not recovering and so I'm just not getting a chance to like actually catch up, which is last minute, but we're here. <laughs> I'm like 80% done. I still have a couple places to go, but we're almost done. Drinking my morning coffee out of this really cute little mug that I got from Target. It says, all mama wants is a silent night. <laughs> when I saw this y'all in the store, I was like, oh, I have to have that because this is literally all I can all I can hope for anyways before we go ahead and kind of hop into the vlog because today's vlog is obviously more so a recap of my girls trip that we just went on which was phenomenal but I'm sure you guys are watching this and you're probably like Kyra what is on your face so I am currently doing a blackhead treatment on my nose you guys know how big I am into skincare blackheads definitely occur and so I am doing the CMP laboratory anti-pore blackhead clear kit it's a two-step nose mask that smooths and cleanses the nose and clears it of any blackheads so this is the first sheet and this sheet here is actually to dissolve the blackheads and then the second sheet is actually to soothe and tighten the pores so I've actually had this on for about 15 minutes so the first sheet you should leave on for about 10 to 15 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then I'm going to go in with sheet number two here's the box each of these actually comes with three sets of masks so let me grab number here's number two on vacation you guys don't get me wrong I loved it but it did a number on my skin it was so cold that like it clogged my skin and also low-key not really burned my skin but it was just so cold that like my skin hurt so I definitely the treatment to combat that and I'll do this like once a week just to really make sure that my nose area is really cleared of any gook you know any junk that needs to go and blackheads are definitely <laughs> part of that I'm gonna go ahead and now take the second strip and I love this because you can easily treat your skin while you're moving around and y'all know how much I move around especially with Olivia it's been about 15 minutes I'm peel this off uh and not sure if you guys can see it but it has like little like can you guys see I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera but it has a bunch of like little little black and white dots but let's just say that my nose is filthy so i'm gonna take a q-tip and kind of just clean everything off before i go in and apply my serum okay and now going in with the cmp laboratory propolis energy ampule i have been loving this serum because it pretty much gives my tired skin like right now my skin is dry and tired and dull looking and this gives it a really healthy glow apply it to my hands there we go and I kind of go ham <laughs> but it just because of my skin like I said my skin loves it it really 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 does and you guys see how instantly it transforms the overall look of my skin like I definitely look a lot more glowy and dewy now and my skin just looks so much more alive and actually purchase both products on Amazon I'll leave the links down below in the description box if you need a little extra TLC in the nose area or if you just need you know a little more smoothness and more hydration to the skin you definitely want to check out these products as well by CMP laboratory they're bomb anyways yeah back to the trip so as I mentioned or as you guys saw in the last vlog I was packing for my trip and obviously the trip has come and gone so um I am back from it and oh you guys I needed that trip it was perfect I loved it I loved it I loved it the place was beautiful would definitely go back but on the way out it was a headache and I will explain why and what happened and kind of like how our trip ended after you guys 
watch the clips or watch these clips here um, from our trip. Hey y'all, it's Kyra and welcome back to a new vlog. So today is gonna be a, or for the next couple days, it'll be a fun little video because I am on vacation and it's my first vacation as a mom. So I'm really excited about that. But you guys, we are in Vail. We're in Vail, Colorado. This is literally one of my dream bucket list winter vacation destinations. If you guys have been following us, or following us, following my channel for a while, at least for the past year, then you guys know. <clears throat> that last year my girls and i we did a winter trip to park city utah and absolutely loved it and we decided we loved it so much we decided to go ahead and do like <laughs> an annual winter trip and so this year we're doing veil vale. and i genuinely cannot believe that we're here just because it is it just in terms of winter trips this is definitely like top two of all time because of how beautiful it is here so we just checked in to our hotel room well we got like a little a suite it's a three bedroom suite that we got and so on this trip it's just three of us it's me alicia and our friend Brittany, which i'll put her on here i'll show i'll show her later but it's the three of us and so we got a three bedroom um suite and it is beautiful it's like a really warm cozy cabin type of vibe and it's so spacious like i'm gonna give y'all guys a tour real quick hold on a second okay so i'm standing at the front door and when you walk in there's alicia <laughs> When you walk in, there's like a little landing space. So it has a mirror, a little desk, a bench, all that good stuff. This is a cloak closet. And then as I mentioned, there are three rooms. So here's the first room. This is my room. We had to, we like drew numbers. Um, we labeled the numbers, the papers one to three. And so pretty much whoever, you know, drew number one got the first pick, whoever drew number two got second pick. And then Alicia drew number three. So she got the last pick of the room. So this is the first room. It's a really cute, cozy room. And I have my queen size bed. You guys, the views from our room are phenomenal. So anyways, here's my room. Oh, closet there too. And also got um, a bathroom in here as well. Each room has their own bathroom, which I like. Okay, so then here, there's a half bath right here. I guess, I don't know, I honestly don't know why you would need a half bath in this um, hotel room, but there's a half bath in there. Keep on going. This is a washer and dryer. Then we have, this is Alicia's room. This is why I was saying that she got the, <laughs> she drew last. This room is just two twin beds. We thought it was gonna be two queen size beds, but it's only two twins, but it's not a big deal, honestly, because we'll be in the living room space most of the time. So it's not really that big of a deal. So this is her room, TV over there, closet little desk what not desk a little <laughs> table and here's her bathroom okay and then she's got a shower also and then this is our favorite part this is like this is what was worth every single penny <laughs> this space right here so y'all look at our suite so we have a full kitchen you got a fridge microwave counter sink all that good stuff got a full dining table we have two balconies oh so back to the views <laughs> they're taking pics but you guys look at look at this view oh it's gorgeous so that's one balcony um and then here's our living room space over here again you guys see it definitely gives like warm cozy vibes i can always turn this on tonight that fireplace is for sure coming on tonight and then all of that couch all that good stuff um and then we have one more huge balcony that has an even better view like ah. Y'all, look at this. Oh, it looks so good. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, that's the outdoor space. And then I'll show you guys Brittany's room. She has the best room. <laughs> she definitely has the best room. So, this is her room here. Super spacious. Oh, I didn't notice that. Brittany, I didn't notice your room. Connected to the outside. It does? Yeah, it's like a sliding door here. Yeah, so this is her room, king size bed. And like I was saying, her room connects to the outside. It also has a fireplace, TV, all that good stuff. And y'all look at her bathroom. 
So there's a little space right here. She has this humongous closet. And then look at her bathroom. So the long vanity, double mirrors. She has a tub and a shower in hers. Oh, and double sinks. So anyways, yeah, that's her room. So she picked first, so she got lucky. Um, but honestly, we love the whole suite. Like, again, this right here is pretty much what makes this, the whole trip up here worth it. We're all tired. We our lunch was um, the food was so good, and then whenever we came back to our hotel, our hotel actually has free. Oh, I got the hot chocolate was over there. The hotel actually has free s'mores, and a, they have a free s'mores bar and a free hot chocolate bar from three to five. So we got back right in time. So we sat outside, had a nice s'more, um, which was yummy, and then I have. My hot cocoa, which I forgot was actually sitting over here. So, if I drink this. One thing I will say is that this place is so beautiful. It literally looks like a storybook. <laughs> it literally looks like it came straight out of a storybook. Like, that is how beautiful it is. Even at nighttime, like, as you know, the sun is going down now, obviously, but just look at this. Like y'all see how pretty it is? Ugh. It is gorgeous and I love that our suite has all these windows because we get the view you just saw and this view right there. So we're definitely loving it. We're trying to decide right now what we're gonna do tonight. Our plan was to go back out, but we're just so tired that we're like, you know, we're gonna come back to the room, kind of like chill out for a little bit and then kind of play by ear and decide if you want to stay in or go back out. We're literally kind of winging this whole trip. So Alicia and Brittany are over there right now and ordering something from Instacart. They actually have a lot of different like winter activities. So they have like ice skating. Well actually, okay, so tonight it's supposed to snow. So a snowstorm is coming tonight, which we are excited about because it means we'll get to see the snow and kind of just like have a real winter vacay. And then um, depending on the amount of snow that we get, ideally when we came here, our plan was to do snowmobiling. That's what we really wanted to do. Um, you guys know we did skiing last year. Skiing was, let's just say that was not our, our not our sport of choice. It was fun, like, I'm glad that I did it and I, I would definitely do it again, but I would do it again with like Dion and the kids. I would do it more so in a family fun environment, <laughs> but like just for fun and just for leisure. No, <laughs> but this go round wants to do snow billing, but they're experiencing a snow shortage, so they don't quite have enough snow as of as of this moment. They don't have enough snow to do it, but depending on how the snowstorm is um, or how much snow we get tonight, we may be able to do it tomorrow. So it kind of depends. I don't know. We're kind of swinging it. We'll kind of see how it's looking tomorrow, and then decide our activity from there, and just hang out and just go explore and all that good stuff. But this place is literally so cute. All right, y'all, so we are out right now and grabbing dinner. We're going to a spot called Bully Ranch. And this place is so cute. Look, hold on, look at the out, the patio. So right now it's snowing. So, just started, it should be snowing all night, but it's beautiful out here. Dinner is served, so I end up getting the Wagyu burger, broccolini. Alicia and I are splitting the fries and broccolini. Alicia got a salmon, salmon sandwich. It's hard to say. You know it is. <laughs> and Brittany got the chicken. What'd you get? Chicken? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. So I feel like everything looks so good. And this place is so cute, you guys. We're like the last ones here. <laughs> Everyone pretty much cleared out, but. Look how cute it is and it's so snowy. It looks so good morning, you guys. So today is day two of our trip to Vail. It is absolutely beautiful outside. It looks so nice. Um, it's still snowing, I'll show you guys here in a second. It's still snowing, but oh my gosh. It literally looks like a winter wonderland. So I feel like this is like what's topping off. I mean like this place is already beautiful, but like if we add the snow on top of it, 
gorgeous okay um but i am just getting up it's like 8 15. i think you guys saw last night we went to dinner at this place called bully ranch um here in Vail. it's it was in like a different part of the village and the food was bomb it was so good so i think we were all happy with that choice and so and also it's, it's a lot we didn't realize it's a lot harder to find dinner here because everything kind of closes and i don't know if it's because it's a weekday but um, like last night a lot of the places closed at like nine and so finding somewhere that was open till 10 was difficult but fortunately we found that spot and it was it was a good choice so i'm have to go meet up with the girls to see what we're doing today because today's supposed to be activity day of course you guys will come along with me on the day also i apologize in advance because i know i have been mixing um footage from my camera and the footage from my phone because whenever we've been going out I haven't been taking my camera because I don't want to carry it. <laughs> and so y'all will just, y'all will just get what we get, okay? <laughs> um, but real quick, let me show you guys how beautiful it looks outside. Can y'all see this? <laughs> Look how cute it is. It's so cute. And you guys can't see it on the camera, but it is still snowing, obviously. But it is so beautiful. Like, I can't wait to get out there. Just kind of, you know, get to exploring some more. Hey y'all, so we are out getting some coffee this morning. We're gonna do a coffee at the hotel, but we're like, you know what? It's beautiful outside, let's go get some coffee in um, Bell Square. So, you just walk across the street to grab some. It is beautiful out here. It's cold, but it's beautiful. And it's freezing. <laughs> but this coffee is like all my name for sure. All right, y'all, so we are headed out for some lunch. We're just doing lunch here at the, the hotel. Um, but here is today's OOTD, so just comb my hair back. I have on this um, olive green bodysuit from Zara, this olive green and cream and beige plaid jacket, and then some black faux leather leggings. These are the ones that I showed from Naked Wardrobe. So that's today's OOTD. And then here are my shoes. I love these boots. They're so cute. We're out and about. We ended up coming to Vail Village. So Vail has different villages. We're staying near Lion's Head Village, but right now we're out in Vail Village. And you guys, this is, the, this is even cuter than where we were earlier. Like, look at how beautiful this little town is. It's like all kinds of shops and whatnot. You have a nice view of the mountains. All the trees, all the lights. Like, it's definitely giving major Christmas vibes. Perfect holiday setting. It is stunning out here. It's usually like this kind of like sweeter, like richer wine. But recently actually falls in there are a lot of songs as being their favorite. Like, like do y'all want to get some pictures and then I'll get all these bottles out of the way? Well, uh... Good morning, you guys. So it is day three in Vail and we just kicked off our morning with in-room massages. Oh my gosh. The best experience ever. Just a random travel tip in case anyone, for those of you guys who love massages as much as we do, especially on vacation. If you are traveling and you know, like you're know you staying at a, at a hotel or resort that has the spa, I encourage you guys to look into a mobile therapist. We did it for the first time when we went to Park City last year. I would highly recommend it because um, A, it's, we have found that it's always cheaper to do um, a mobile therapist versus going to the um, hotel spa. And it's a lot more, in I just love it because it's a lot more intimate. You can stay in your room. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to like go downstairs or leave, you know, your hotel. Like they come to you, they set up, literally you just walk out your room <laughs> and you get your massage and they are amazing. So yeah, we just wrapped that up. The ladies were amazing. Now we're just about to get ready to go get some breakfast. We're gonna do breakfast at, or downstairs in the hotel, and then get ready to go snowmobiling, you guys, which I'm so excited about. Called around yesterday and I was able to find us a place who um, was able to squeeze us in for the for a snowmobile tour today, this afternoon. So we're very, very, very excited about that for sure. All right, y'all, so we're all ready to go snowmobiling. I have on one, two, three layers on the top, and then there's two on the bottom. So I got my ski jacket on, my snow pants on, I have my gloves over there, and also a hat that I don't have on yet, and also my goggles, but I'm excited, and I am ready to go. Snowmobiling. We're excited. We're nervous, but excited. Um, just hopefully, we'll hurt ourselves and we make it back in one piece.
So y'all, we made it to the top. Look at how beautiful it is up here. We're like out of breath because they're so high. But just look at that view, y'all. I can't believe we did this. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. how pretty it was like how much fun we were having it was like the perfect girl trip honestly like i i needed that just needed like you know like some girl time just we drank a lot we talked a lot we laughed a lot it was a good time as you guys saw the last clips were from <laughs> a snowmobiling and you guys saw we went to the top of the mountain like we had made it to the top we were so excited snowmobiling was a blast i had a, i personally enjoyed it it was scary i told dion that i would totally do it again but i would only do it again with him i would do it again but i wouldn't do it on such a steep mountain because if you're new to it especially coming from texas it is it is a bit scary because like you're going up this mountain and there's like no there's like no really so things can definitely happen and something did happen so we did our whole tour, made it to the top of the mountain, and things were going good. And so after that, we were headed back down, um, back down the mountain to get to the lodge um, so we could head back to our resort. So long story short, my sister ended up getting in a snowmobile accident. Thank God she was okay. Fortunately, thank God, it was we were she was not at a steep part of the mountain. Like it was sloped, but it wasn't steep. Thank God. But she kind of just went off the side and went tumbling. They said that she fell about 10 to 15 feet. And pretty much she like tumbled. She hit some trees along the way down. And anyways, landed off the side of the mountain. So that happened Saturday. And like I said, she ended up going to the ER. Um, found out that she was fine. Well, fine and respected to what could have happened so we were supposed to leave our flight was actually sunday morning at like 10 o'clock in the morning but we ended up all three of us ended up pushing our flight she was clear to fly so she could discharge we would hop in an uber go to the airport catch our flight get back home and get her settled so she can rest but we missed our flight so that was interesting so we had to spend the night unexpectedly um in denver so all three of us missed our flights <laughs> so the ending of the trip was very unexpected, not gonna lie, but overall, I think that all three of us can agree that it was um, a really good trip and we all had a good time except for like Saturday evening. So that is our trip. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the um, trip, the girl trip vlog, as well as, you know, hearing about <laughs> our very unexpected turn of event so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye y'all